Hello there, what's your name? Am I looking right down the fucking aisle? I am. Uh, <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Jesus Christ. Bullshit. Hello there. You... Have, the, have the house lights just come on? That's fucking great. Trev's just turned the house lights on, mate. That's going to make a difference. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll oh, just turn those on. He'll see them then, won't he? <laughs> for my text, Trev, what a champion, get up for Zach on the sound, yes, okay let's try take two on that, hello there, what's your name, Zane, what, Zane, Zane with the Z, yep, hello Zane, how are you matey, yeah I'm alright, what did you do today Zane, not much, not much, give me something to fucking work with Zane, <laughs> my friend. Did you catch your bus? Did you put your pants on? Help me out, brother! <laughs> what happened? Caught the train here. You what? Caught the train here. You caught the train here. See, there's something to work with. Zane's now given me a comedic premise. <laughs> I can talk about trains. I can talk about the fact that he's got nothing else to do other than catch a train. <laughs> we can deconstruct Zane's sad little life. Let's go back to Zane. Zane! Woo! So where did you catch the train from, Zane? Where do you live, champ? Um, Cronulla. Cronulla! Yeah. Someone went, eh. <laughs> that was the best. I believe that is the international sound for Cronulla. Eh. <laughs> Fucking me. Eh. 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 You, that's how you call out each other in a crowd. Eh. Eh. You're a champ. Hey, Zane, unrelated question. Roll with me on this. Just go with me. Bit of improv. How old do you think I am, Zane? How old do you reckon I am? Man? Just have a little guess. How old do you think little <laughs> me think Randy is? How old, Zane? Yeah, 20. 20? Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> Double it. I'm 40, Zane. 40 years of age. It's a good age, 40. I love it. 40 is the new 36. <laughs> Unless, of course, like me, you're single with no children, no mortgage, and no responsibilities whatsoever, then 40's the new 27. <laughs> Casual sex and psychedelics are wasted on the young. <laughs> Actually reminds me, um, this is a good segue, I've, I'm trying to tap into the youths, um, so I've started my own podcast, finally putting out a podcast. People have been asking for ages, Randy, when are you doing a poot coos? So I'm doing one. Um, I was going to do one of those ones where comedians talk to other comedians about comedy, but I thought, you know what, that's almost too original. So what I'm doing now is a, a bit of a self-help kind of podcast. Do you all want to hear a sample? Yes. It's called The 40-Year-Old Fuckboy. 40-Year-Old Fuckboy. Welcome back to The 40-Year-Old Fuckboy. Is it a midlife crisis or a second Saturn return? Who knows? Today on the show, I'm going to be teaching you all how to overcompensate for that pesky childhood trauma by telling a woman you love her on a first date. <laughs> but first, let's open Randy's Fuckboy Mailbag. Randy's Fuckboy Mailbag. For people who used to write letters. <laughs> Today's letter comes to us from Trent, from Glebe. Trent writes, I'm a 40-year-old rock-climbing yoga instructor with a top knot who always wears loose trousers to really accentuate my dick flopping around. <laughs> Until recently, my speciality was luring 36-year-old women from my yoga classes to join me for private tantra workshops, but now I can't stop masturbating to trans porn. <laughs> Should I get a Kelpie? <laughs> well, uh... Sounds like you really miss your mum, Trent. Um, you should definitely get a Kelpie. Sheepdogs fucking thrive in the inner city. Coming up after the break on The 40-Year-Old Fuckboy, we're going to be talking to Joe Rogan about the relationship between psychedelic enlightenment and kicking cunts in the head. 40-Year-Old Fuckboy Is it a midlife crisis or a second? Sadly, 
get it wherever you get your podcasts.